This is some drama between Honkai Star Rail and a YouTuber that makes content about VTubers. And it's about them not paying the YouTuber. So this is the tweet in question. They said, so Honkai Star Rail and game influencer, which is from my understanding, like an influencer marketing for games, they're kind of like a middleman between connecting games with creators. They've emailed me a bunch of times. So that's my understanding of what they do from their emails to me. Refused to pay me the 2K they owed me for fulfilling a sponsorship deal due to the following transgressions in my video. Family guy Chinese drawing meme on Vox. Being chilling Chinese meme with Vox. Social credit meme with Vox. Mentioning Taiwan. Not kidding. I only read the word Taiwan. A friend reading feel that beard online. Fish taco. Mentioning Billy Billy news regarding identity. Mentioning Niji members mixing alcohol with ASAP. What is ASAP? If I can't keep my dank memes and being able to acknowledge the existence of Taiwan, then you guys can keep the 2K. I am good. Here are a screenshot with all of the examples. So this is a Vox meme with Family Guy. Here is another Vox meme with the Family Guy. So also, I got to say, I am Chinese. So stuff like this to me personally, as a Chinese person, seems kind of racist. Like when I look at this, I don't know if this the creator themselves are Chinese. I don't think they are because then they would have known not to do this. But yeah. So then it's a screenshot from Dextero stating Billy Billy is forcing big VTubers to reveal their identities to stay monetized. Here is the Zhao Shao Hao Zhongguo meme. Taiwan mentions. So Taiwan was mentioned twice, I guess. Another Vox Chinese meme. Glory to, I think this is supposed to say the CCP. My Chinese reading is really bad. So I can't really read this. So the Hao, good thumbs up, plus 15 social credits. I mean, those memes are pretty dank. I'm just saying. Or right, here's a screenshot from Lil Gal to Parrot Chan or about Parrot's videos. Parrot's videos in the following sections. So multiple sections of transgressions violates multiples TNCs. Is this like um, terms of use, like terms and conditions, which you accepted to participate in the campaign. We ask you to remove Honkai Star Rail from the sponsored segment of the video, any other mentioned parts and the video description. Please keep in mind the quote in case of any breach of this terms of service or any guidelines provided by the G.io, which is the game influencer platform, could result in immediate termination of the agreement, any form of monetary compensation or remuneration as well as potential immediate removal of published content. Elite Man says, I do say seeing the first image, it makes sense even if they were non-Chinese companies. Aussie says, were they not aware of your no holds back level of memes or they just was expecting you to go easy on their overloads? Kyo asks, did they approve the video before it went live? Which is a good question to me. Draken says, shouldn't be surprised, but I honestly thought they chilled down a bit with the whole not even mentioning Taiwan existing. Holy shit. Even so, the video was fun as always. Stream needs to go on because I have a lot of stuff to talk about on this stream. So just ignore me holding this tissue to my ear as like my third lobe piercing is kind of bleeding a little bit. I like bumped it with my nail and I think that's why I started bleeding. I have two thoughts about this. I went and stalked some of Parrot's videos after I saw this tweet, right? And Parrot's YouTube videos are full of dank memes, like this level of dank memes or more. So that's just the type of content they make. That's just the type of creator they are. So I think it's interesting that Honkai sponsored them in the first place. If they had such strict restrictions on the level of mm, dankness they could use in the video. That's my first thought. Game Influencer has reached out to me before about this stuff too. It's also a platform in which you can also apply for sponsorships. So they will email you about partnerships, but you can also apply on their website. So I don't know whether they reached out to Parrot or Parrot themselves applied. If Parrot applies, then it makes sense that maybe Honkai and Game Influencer didn't know about the level of um, dank memes that Parrot likes to use in their videos. If they reached out to Parrot, then I would say that Honkai needed to do some due diligence or Honkai and Game Influencer needed to do some due diligence into this creator that they're trying to reach out to. Because why are you trying to reach out to a creator where you don't know the type of content they make? You don't know the level of like dank memes this creator likes to use. That being said though, was at no point the expectations of the video communicated. I think this is also a big lack of communication. Again, my background, I've been a content creator for like five years now. I do a lot of sponsorship education. I've taken on like hundreds of sponsorships. I've been through the song and dance over and over and over again. There should have been a level of communication about what to be expected in the video. And if Honkai and Game Influencer knows that this is the type of content that Parrot likes to do, this is the type of memes they like using in their videos, that needs to be explicitly communicated that, hey, can you just not do it in this one video? At the same time though, in my personal opinion, and Parrot as the creator should have also had an understanding that this level of memes should have been toned down for a sponsored video. When I work with sponsors, I make sure that the video is crystal clear, crispy, crispy, clean, like Disney level of censorship in the video for the most part, because I don't want to get in trouble. And I'm not trying to risk getting in trouble and not getting paid. So I err very, 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 very far on the safe side. Demon, for a 2K sponsorship, I'd be a very good bean. Yeah, exactly. For $2,000, bro, memes? 
gone. I will be crystal clear, very PG. You can show this to your toddler and be good type deal. It, it is easier for me because I normally do education content. So it's very PG safe in the first place. But still, I make it explicitly crystal clear. I do the best level of editing for sponsored videos. I sometimes slack off on my own videos, but if it's a sponsored video, I definitely up the level of editing that I do to make it look better. I work hard for sponsored videos. I've done hundreds of them. So I have a lot of experience with this. You want to keep it clean. Anytime something is in the gray area, the safe option is to not include it if you think it's in the gray area. There should have been a point where the video was sent for approval, like typically in a sponsorship process, because if you guys aren't creators, you guys might not know how this process works. Either the company Company reaches out to you or you reach out to the company then there is some communication that happens between what is expected i have a youtube video i think covering this already and a tiktok video covering this but there is some sort of communication happening where it's like hey can you make a video promoting our new um update like our new 2.2 release and pair will be like okay and then they will be like how long do you want the video to be what do you want me to talk about what do you want to be included da -da 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 -da. and here what are some visual assets you want me to use hong Kai will be like i want you to make the video this long i want you to talk about this 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 and i want the video to have these assets and then parrot will be like okay make the video send it over to honkai for approval typically what i do is i send the script first and then i send over the actual video and then once they approve the script then i make the video to avoid as many changes and then they will get back to you and they'll be like hey i like the video but at 11 minutes 50 seconds can you change this and i'll be like pog i will change it i'll give it back and i'll be like does this look good and Hong Kai will say, good, you are ready to post. And then I will say, what day do you want to want me to post it? Here is the thumbnail for approval. Here is the caption for approval. Here is the title for approval. Once you approve all of these and approve the date and time I'm going to post, I will post it on that date and time with the approved thumbnail, with the approved title, with the approved caption on the approved timeline. There is a lot of communication that should have been happening here. So I don't know the behind the scenes of how this partnership happened, but it sounds like there was a lot of communication that should have happened that didn't happen. Personally, for me, I do think these levels of memes, is a little, it borders on the line of what I personally wouldn't want to watch anymore. That's just me personally. Some people like to call me soft. I just have content I like to consume and I have content that I don't like to consume. And I am Chinese and some of the memes to me does border a little bit sussiness to me personally but that's just my take you can have your opinions whether you like it or not it's up to you i don't have anything to say to you if you like it and it is what it is it's mainly this one where i'm like man i have seen chinese people portrayed like this way too many times for humor that it does make me a little bit uncomfortable to see it personally but all the social credit means whatever is, it is what it is it's literally only this one that i'm kind of like about i am chinese that's me personally oh and this family guy one sorry so both of these ones but anyways, going back into the thing again. Yeah, the Vox drawing is where I'm like, eh, all the social credit ones, the Zhao Shao Hao, Bing Ling, I'm totally fine with that one. It's just those two specifically that I'm like, that makes me uncomfortable to see it. If you think it's funny, that's on you, bro. I'm not going to harp on you for it, but it makes me uncomfortable. But was it not communicated that talking about Taiwan wasn't okay? I mean, I feel like you should have known. I don't know if Parrot is Chinese or not, but look, I'm just saying. It's a pretty well-known thing that with China, it's very um, gray area to talk about Taiwan. Where if you want to stay in favor with Chinese companies and people from China, don't talk about Taiwan. Is it right that it's like that? I don't know. I am Chinese, but I am born in America. So I did not grow up in China. I spent a good chunk of my childhood in China, but I was not involved with the politics side of it because I was like, what, a kid? I personally have no issue. I love Taiwan, yo. You guys invented boba. You guys are my favorite for that reason. But I mean, I feel like I should have been known that for a sponsorship with a Chinese company, Hoyoverse, that you don't talk about Taiwan. If you're not Chinese, you might not know, but I feel like that should have been adequately communicated. And again, this would have also been solved if the video was sent for approval beforehand, which is like fault for both sides, you know? Hoyoverse should have asked for it, but also Parrot, I feel like as a creator should have realized this, I hope maybe realized it. I feel like more blame I would put on Hoyoverse for not asking for the video, but this is a whole side conversation too, but I get really annoyed when people like get scared of China. People always like to say, oh my God, China is so racist, Chinese government so scary, this, that, and the third. I'm just saying, bro, if you make political jokes about the country that the company you're working with lives in and works out of, you're probably gonna get in trouble. I feel like that's pretty obvious but that's just me me personally i want to make money so i am perfectly down to censor myself to make money that's the hill that i stand on those are my values for parrot they have other values they say if i can't keep my dank memes and being able to acknowledge the existence of taiwan then you guys can keep the 2k i am good that is totally fine too you can stand on either side parrot is really dedicated to their memes so therefore they're willing to sacrifice money to be able to continue making their content and making their memes go for it that is up to you and as a creator you can do whatever you want and that is where that, that is like where they stand for me personally i'm really down to censor myself to make money because 
I want money, lols. <laughs> That's just me though. So I don't think there's a right or wrong in this case. I think in this case, it was just a lot of miscommunication. A lot more communication should have happened between Parrot and Hoyovers. So they could have come to a better agreement. But at the end of the day, Parrot stood on their values of dank memes and was riding with it. And Hoyovers stood on their values about no Taiwan memes and stood on that too. I don't think Hoyovers is in the wrong for not paying this creator for violating TOS. And I don't think this creator is also in the wrong for not wanting to, I guess, soften themselves in their content to appeal to a company to make money.